houses will be built to relocate the Broad and Lombard Street squatters. The ministry's decision to relocate the squatters were due to the legal action taken by the landowner and a high court decision. This led to a six-week eviction notice. We have taken the initiative to relocate those persons and we're looking at we have commenced work at Bangwell South, Bangwell North, on the East Bank. We are currently, um, we're currently advertising to have a road done that will facilitate how slots develop. And in collaboration with the Food for the Poor organization, we've already negotiated. We're going to do something, single houses, there um, because when we did the registration it was close to about 68 adults and about 100 children in that little area. The minister emphasized that government will not allow their citizens to live in those conditions, hence the relocation program. So our focus at State and Day is as far as practical to build the low cost houses and relocate these persons. We are also looking at a similar project in the industry on the East Coast to relocate squatters at supply of these services and its immediate environments. The government will be investing $42 million on the relocation program, which will be transferred to Food for the Poor for the construction of the houses, and $30 million for the infrastructure development of the area. Minister Patterson noted that the government remains committed to providing lands and houses for other persons and urges that they remain patient. Neil Damon, Info Hub.